general Orange River region in the northern Cape of South Africa, in this case from particularly from Steinkopf and Serrans. This is a floater formation, so it would have formed maybe in a, in a clay. It was basically the, the way I estimated, I'm no geologist, but I'd say there was this lava flow and this big bubble of silica popped out of it and landed somewhere. And, and cooled, and of course it was solid silica, so it crystallized, and then there were some other elements represented, giving it a mild smoky look, and maybe a little bit of grayishness to it as well, maybe minor traces of hematite as an inclusion, mind you, I found, uh, I found in some of these, I found uh, pyrite cubes as well, I found traces of epidote, and some have an almost uh, a sort of a, a sea green appearance, which could be microchlorite, but my magnification doesn't go that far. From a display point of view, my preferred point of display would be this, where you have this almost a starburst of the quartz crystals going across the top. Let me just illuminate a little bit. Of course, clarity uh, uh, can be favorably compared to the alpine quartzes. Super, super clear. Uh, mild contact over there and there, but furthermore, pretty perfect. Uh, so this would be my preferred point of display. You could display it this way around too. Going around like that. All the way from South Africa, from Steinkopf in the Northern Cape. Uh, I think Lower Orange River would be the the term uh, the guys who uh, go with the Orange River quartz. This would be from the Lower Orange River.